Oh, this is why it's called a floating market because we got the old Bramers on their own individual boats cooking away. Welcome to today's video. I'm at Ampawa Floating Market, which is about 50 kilometers from Bangkok, and it's taken me about an hour and a half to drive here. And Ampawa Floating Market is probably one of the best places in Bangkok and almost in Thailand to grab street food. There is so much selection here, and I would recommend for anyone to come. And I'm going to be showing you in this video just how much choice there is here at this market. It's going to be insane. Located in Bangkok's neighboring province of Samut Songkram, Ampawa Floater Market is one of the oldest and most renowned tourist attractions in the provincial area, offering an abundance of mouth-watering street food, canal-side views, and an endless selection of arguably the country's best Thai desserts. What's really special about this floating market is that the river runs right through the middle of it. Usually in other markets, it runs on the side. And here, there's a load of boats that you can take to go anywhere you want, really. I gotta say, this is one of the most liveliest markets since the whole pandemic started. Like most of the markets seem to be really under capacity, but here it's still thriving. They're selling the Squid Game cookies over there. Okay, so right now we're at the very end of the market. Actually, the official ending of the market is a few meters ahead from where we are, but we're gonna start from here and walk our way from the end to the start, because we got a car parked at the beginning of the market. Wow, that is some pretty big naan bread, man. If I eat this though, like, I'm gonna be full. Eat it by, yeah, yeah, yeah. 20 bar. Shall we try it? Okay, so. Wow, be careful, it's a broken. Oh, just broken it. Oops. So we just bought one here for 20 bar, and the name of this is almost impossible to pronounce for a foreigner. <laughs> These boys are going fishing. All right, let's open up this baby. Oh yeah, so what, we just have like a big slice like that? Oh my God, look how big this is. Sawadee cab, all right. And you're supposed to eat this just by yourself like that. It's just breaking down with your pieces. Wow, look at the mess I've made. That, that is embarrassing. Everybody, everybody was looking at me because I'm holding the camera and it's just went <laughs> Mm. It's nice. Very subtle in flavours. I thought this would be very filling, but it's not too bad. Mm. You can taste the sugar sprinkled on it. Once you start eating it, you can't stop. So good. All right, let's get out of here before I make any more mess. Hey, what's this? Kanembuen, huh? I like the smaller kanembuens. They're easier to eat. This is probably like the most popular snack in Thailand, right? Mm. I'll go with a pink. Thank you. Look at that candy floss right there in a nice little cup. You don't find that too often in Bangkok. So we're gonna try out the candy floss that we just bought for 10 baht. Oh, is that how you're supposed to do it or no? Wow, that's good. <laughs> so easy to eat. This shit I'm out. It's too good, huh? <laughs> All right, yeah. It's very all right. If I eat all of this, man, I'm gonna get a massive sugar rush. Right, so we come to the center of the market, and there's this main bridge that crosses the river, but we're gonna to go to the right of the bridge, walk down, and I believe there's another bridge along here, to which we're gonna cross the market, then go all the way around, do a full circle, and then cross the bridge towards the end of the video. We're gonna give you a full tour of this legendary Ampawa market. Just like with any floating market, you're gonna have so many riverboats whizzing up and down the canal. What is this? Wow, oh, it's thick, isn't it? Coconut sweet, wow. 35 baht, wow. Right, so we've just bought something off this stall. Apologies for the way this sounds. It's called Mian Kam, and it was 10 baht. I wasn't personally going to try this, but uh, my girlfriend wants me to try it out, so why not? Am I supposed to eat the leaf? You're joking. Leaf. All right, all right. You know what? Let's try this on this little nice wooden bridge here. It's very ornate, this bridge, isn't it? Look at the bolsters. All right, so I'm going to try this uh, Mian Kham. Yes. Oh, it's already breaking apart. Oops. Oh, gosh. 
sliding all up and down the skewer. So apparently you're supposed to eat it with the leaf, which I thought you're actually supposed to unravel and then get the insides, but supposedly not. You're just supposed to pop this in your mouth. So I'm, I'm basically eating leaves here in Thailand. Shall I pop it in? It doesn't taste like a leaf. Oh, it's crunchy on the inside. Oh wow, this is really good. As absurd as it may look, it's really tasty. There's so much flavour. Oh, this is brilliant. I don't even know what's inside, but it must be some sort of Thai sauce, which is really, really sweet. I can't have more than one. It's so powerful. I actually want to open it up and show people what's inside this. Yep. Let's try this out. Okay, so. This is what I just ate. And it looks like there's onions in here. Filled with some sort of... This is coconut. What? Is that onions or coconut? Coconut. Onion. Onion, coconut. Ginger. Some nuts, right? Nut, yes. Wow, there's a lot inside. This is incredibly strong. And put in your mouth. <laughs> That's not the best thing to eat though. What do you think? Alright. I'm sweating. <laughs> if it's alloy, can you eat one piece? My hands are so dirty from opening that. Look, it's full of oil. But there's some alcohol spray over there. I'm going to pop this in the bag. I'm going to make you eat this later. I would recommend to try this out, just to try it out. But I wouldn't recommend buying a bunch of these because this is so powerful. Just buying one skewer is enough. Just having one of these is enough, let alone one skewer. <laughs> Woo. It's got a bit of spice in this as well, isn't it? It's got a bit of chilies in there. Who combines chilies with onions, coconut, and sugar, along with all wrapped around in a leaf? It's insane. I'm gonna smother my hands in now. As I desperately attempt to free my hands of residual grease, I spot in the distance something rather strange drifting along the river. What's that? Look, this person's arrived on the speedboat to Ampawa. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what the 1% looks like here in Thailand. Now, that's how you show up to Ampawa floating market. Pretty cool. All right, time to ascend this bridge and go to the other side. Go on, mate, rev it, rev it. So there's a ice cream shop that does homemade ice cream and they got Thai whiskey in their ice cream. I, I'm not a big fan of whiskey. Yeah, no, yeah, no. So I just tried out some whiskey ice cream. Now I'm trying out Heineken ice cream. Oh my God, that actually tastes like beer ice cream. So this is lychee beer local to Ampawa. Wow, that's really good. That's really good. <laughs> Determined to show me his shop's unique ice cream flavors, the shopkeeper handed me spoon after spoon after spoon. Even when he tells it to me, he's laughing. Because <laughs> he knows it's gonna kill me probably. <laughs> to the point where my brain had completely seized up because of the freezing cold ice cream. This is probably the most insane ice cream place here in Thailand. So if you're an Ampawa, definitely check this place out. Where'd you get chili? strawberry kiwi ice cream along with Heineken beer ice cream and the one I'm having is lychee ice cream from Ampawa. Oh, we've attracted a bit of a queue as well look at this everybody wants to try it out now. Thank you thank you very much carbon cab appreciate it. I've not tried the local Ampawa lychee beer but it tastes really good in this ice cream and the ice cream that I had earlier which was Heineken beer that properly tasted like Heineken beer. Okay. This was 69 baht. A bit expensive, but the flavors are very unique and novel. All right, we found this little pier that we're just gonna relax on and uh, finish the rest of this ice cream. 
Is he not worried about hitting at the end of this guy's propeller? This is really a, a docking pier, like for people to get on and off. With my head now rendered as an iceberg thanks to the extremely cold ice cream, we continue our exploration through the sunset and into the evening, keeping an eye out for more delicious treats. Wow, this side is definitely more lively. Look at the amount of people here. Oh, this is why it's called a float market because we've got the old grandmas on their own individual boats cooking away. What's cool about this little place here is uh, once your food gets ready, you're going to eat on these little stools that they got set up on the steps. Somewhat similar to what you would see in a stadium where it kind of goes down. You see, if we had our dinghy here at the floating market, we could be right up close to those boats and order some pad thai on our very own boat. Although rocking up in my dinghy would have made for a fascinating experience, I'm glad I didn't in the end since it would have been far less pleasant than enjoying a leisurely stroll through the market. Monkey boning another monkey, mate. You know what, I really like the design of this t-shirt, but you know, as I like my things quite dark, take a look at that one over there. Ooh, that red and black one looks, looks so good. This is nice as well, but they don't have that same design, the navy blue. Which one do you guys like? This car's going proper quick. Hands down, Ampawa Floating Market is one of my favorite floating markets here in Thailand. The wide variety of delicious tasting foods, the traditional wooden houses, the stunning canal views, this place is really something else. And it wouldn't surprise me if you see a bunch of YouTubers making videos about this place shortly afterwards. <laughs> I couldn't bear to leave Ampawa Floating Market without trying the Pad Thai from this boat restaurant. Whoa, the lights just came on, look at that. Oh, these lights came on too. I don't know which ones are the one. I think it was these ones here. Is there any more that's gonna turn on? And this is where I'm gonna be having my Pad Thai right here. Welcome, Captain. Thank you. But she has a husky t-shirt. But does she have a husky though? Husky, me, me. So I'm having authentic pad thai made from that woman over there on the boat with some seashells all under this bridge that crosses the floating market here in Ampawa. What a scenery to be eating dinner. All right, time to mix this pad thai up. Mm, bloody hell, that's hot. As I sit here eating my pad thai, I want to briefly mention that there are boat tours from Ampawa Market all throughout the day that will take you to nearby attractions such as Wat Bang Koon, a temple that's been reclaimed by nature, a rare and beautiful Gothic style Catholic church called the Nativity of Our Lady Cathedral, and if you couldn't get enough of floating markets, well, there's another two markets nearby called the Taka Floating Market and Bang Noi Floating Market. My head's literally above the shop awnings right now. I'm not even tiptoeing. How cool is that? Well, we finished up with our tour here in Ampawa. We're gonna now head back home all the way to Bangkok, which is gonna be about an hour and 30 minute drive. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and share the video with friends and family. And I will see you in the next video. Many thanks for watching, take care and bye for now.